So we've set up the torque screwdriver a couple of times on camera before, but we're just going to do it again just so that we've got this absolutely clear. We can see in the little window on our torque screwdriver there, we've got two Newton meters as the current setting. We want to get it to 2.3. We'll just remove the insert. And then what we do is we put in our torque setting tool. So we just insert that into the torque screwdriver. And then we're going to twist this until we get the right value in the window. Now on this particular model of screwdriver, you can see it goes up in degrees of 0.2. So we go from 2.2 to 2.4. We want to be 2.3. So that's going to be midway between those two points. So we've gone past 2.2 to 2.4 and come back again. So that now has a setting of 2.3 Newton meters and we're ready to use that to set up our MCB to the right tightness. It's the Starbreaker design, which is obviously uh, just the push fit type connection. So that's really nice. We just hook that over the top of the breaker, top of the buzz bar, and then we just push it in at the bottom. Again, if you're having to absolutely force that home, you've not got that blade lined up correctly. And what we'll do is we'll just pop the wire in there, pop the conductor in there, and then we'll just tighten this up to the specified torque setting on the screwdriver. So we'll get that up to there and then give that a bit of a twist until it uh, clicks like that. Now we know it's tight. And we'll make sure that we've got our tails to the right torque setting as well. There torque we setting are the terminations for the tails. And so the terminations for the tails are 2.3 Newton meters is what we should be tightening these so up. So exactly the same as the breaker that we've just done. Absolutely, yep. So we've got 2.3 all across the top there, which is really nice. I can see the uh, circuit protective conductor and the neutral conductor are not connected to their bars either. That's correct. So what we'll do is we'll now adjust the torque setting. So I'm going to set that up to 1.7 uh, and again, we can't actually see 1.7, we've got 1.8 and 1.6, so what we do is just get it between those two, and that's now set to 1.7. Put the driver bit back in, and then we'll just pop the CPC back in there. Okay, just hold that in place, make sure we're not screwing onto the insulation, we're screwing onto the copper conductor, and then we'll make sure that that's done up tight. So that's now set to the right torque setting. I'll just check that my uh, main earth coming in is also to the right torque setting. So that just needs a little bit more. There we go. And I'll pop my neutral in as well. And again, that's 1.7 Newton meters on here as well. So again, just give that the right click. There we go. Now, it might be a good idea when you're doing this uh, to perhaps, especially where you've got cables that are made up of more than one uh, conductor in there, just to give those maybe a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a wobble, so that they settle down, because sometimes the conductors can kind of spread out a little bit, and if that's happening, we want to make sure that we're not loosening the terminal. So again, if we just tweak the torque setting on our torque screwdriver. So you're going back to 2.3 Newton meters of torque? Yeah, that's what we're aiming for. There we go, got that set. And now we'll just make sure that we've got this absolutely as tight as it needs to be. So that was it slipping into the uh, screwdriver head, not the, uh, there we go. So that's nice and tight now. And that's nice and tight as well. So we got a little bit further on that that time just by giving those conductors a little wobble.